Welcome back. The five men accused of killing Bafana Bafana goalkeeper Senzo Meiwa are back in court this morning. They were arrested in October last year in connection with the 2014 killing. Meiwa was gunned down in Forsdoris at the house of his girlfriend's mother. Lindo Ulekulu is at the Boxburg Magistrates Court and joins us now. Good morning, Lindo. It's been about seven years, going into seven years this year since Senzo Meiwa's killing and very little developments have actually taken place. There was the arrest of these five men last year and when they appeared in court it was quite bizarre they seemed to have a theory that it was some kind of setup just take us back to their appearance and who these five men are well uh, you are right and in saying that it was quite a dramatic thing but before I just recall some of the things you are saying the family as well as the legal team of course is just arriving now in court ahead of the appearance of course of uh, the five suspects that have been arrested for the murder of Senzo Meiwa seven years in the making but there was a breakthrough it seemed when these suspects were, were arrested but I can certainly tell you that it was a quite a dramatic one because uh, these suspects initially did not want to go into the dock. There was a bit of turmoil inside the court in terms of those proceedings. Some of them did not want to take legal aid, claiming that in fact they do not need a, a lawyer because they are, uh, you know, uh, innocent. But at this stage, this is the third appearance for those suspects and we're expecting that uh, as some of them have taken legal aid, some of them have taken legal representative, there is going to be a procession of some of the proceedings here. But uh, certainly it's been quite a difficult time even for the family that I've just uh, showed you arriving here. The family, of course, uh, we, uh, uh, witnessing some of the denials in court, some of the refusals to actually proceed with some of the processes in the court. But these uh, uh, five gentlemen have been very adamant, some even wearing T-shirts in court, saying that uh, the people that know the truth uh, are in the court and that they, in fact, are not a uh, part of those that killed Senzo Meiwa. Some of them vocally saying that they, in fact, are being, uh, you know, uh, they, they, I would just move, Nandi, because I see the counselor here, the advocate if I could just uh, get a, a sound bite from you, thank you so much. Uh, it's another day. Uh, we are the last time. Some of them did not want to go to the dock, but uh, it seems that uh, things will be. Are you expecting that things will uh, move smoothly today? You know, for me, it's not about moving smoothly. I'm a bit disappointed that we haven't made further arrests. Yes. Uh, I really expected uh, the mastermind to be arrested by today. Yes. You know, in October last year, we indicated that we thought there's, there's enough evidence to arrest the mastermind even then. Yeah. I had a briefing from police management and from the investigating team indicating that they collected even more evidence. Yeah. So I really do, do not understand why we don't have the mastermind before court. But what is of more importance today is let us see what is in the indictment. Uh, because the indictment has to be served on the accused today. Yeah. Does the indictment indicate a robbery that has gone wrong? Or does the indictment at least indicate that this was a contract killing? So, because if it does, if the indictment makes provision at least for the inference that the contract kill, kill, killer or mastermind was involved, then one can think that uh, such person could be added later. But if it doesn't, uh, I'm very critical. Mm. So, so what I expect of today is, uh, well, mainly I think we, one should really focus on the indictment, the content of the indictment. The matter will be postponed for trial in the High Court. So um, let's see. I've, I've heard that there might be applications again today and uh, we'll deal with it but uh, you know I'm acting for the mother and, and the sisters in this matter they they very concerned mm. that this hasn't moved mm. um, you know it's it's four months since the last appearance and what is very interesting is I've learned that the minister of police visited the family in October last year he informed the family that there is a mastermind and he also um, disclose the identity of mm. such mastermind. Now we're four months later mm. and there's been no arrests. Mm. That to me doesn't make sense. Uh, I hope you get answers today. And, and one of the things that uh, the suspects in, uh, that uh, they've been reiterating is that they are innocent. But uh, from your side, do you believe that concrete evidence is there for all of those suspects to actually be implicated in this? You know, if I've done quite a few prosecu uh, prosecutions. Uh, the suspects would always, the accused would always indicate that they're not not guilty, and, and if we listen to accused in, in a pre-trial, we'll never go to trial in any matter. But I've had briefings, I haven't read the docket, but I had briefings from the uh, investigating team, and on the briefing and the evidence that they've disclosed to me, I'm, I'm confident that the five people that we have in court today, 
those five people were involved in the commission of this crime. All right, thank you so much. Let me not hold you any longer. But uh, you are hearing then, and for yourself, the uh, council or rather the legal representative for the family uh, saying that they are confident that some of those suspects, that are they, in fact, all of them, are involved in this matter. And one of the things uh, that he is saying is that uh, he, what, they only want the uh, particular case to go into trial. And those are some of the things that they are willing to deal with at a later stage. But they are saying that the case that they believe is quite concrete from their side. And one of the things that they are disappointed with is the fact that uh, uh, there hasn't been an arrest of this mastermind that keeps on being mentioned over and over again. But we will obviously be looking into the proceedings inside to get a sense of what will unfold today on this uh, uh, dramatic uh, court case that has turned especially due to the arrest of some of the five suspects that are appearing today. Very dramatic indeed. Thank you very much, Lindo. We will catch up with you a little bit later on. My colleague, Lindo Guthekulu.